So on today's video, I'm going to share with you the best management practices I use to ensure that my broiler shake can grow healthy, big and heavy, even in general for other chickens, include laying beds. So stay with me as I lay out this secret today. I'll be right back. My name is Ezra Uncle Samuel from PoultryFarmGuide.com. On this channel, I share tips and guides to enable you to set up your poultry farming business and scale it up. Now, I'm in the poultry house. Although I have laying chickens here, I'm not breeding broilers, but this is just one in 20 times I do poultry farming. I just occasionally breed layers till a month, a year and before I breed another set. So I'm mostly, we mostly do on um, broiler chickens. And I know in the last question I asked on my viewer, most of you are broiler rarers or cheapers. So talking about the best management process to make your chicken grow very well. We'll start with feed. I'm going to use the best management practice acronym FLOSS. So I'm starting with feed. You get the best feed. These simple things is what make your bed grow very well and healthy. Don't compromise. Give them for your brother's chicken. You give them day and night for the first three weeks. Day and night. At night you put your light for them for them to feed. These first three weeks is the best time to get the maximum weight of your broiler chicken. I also talk about the first seven days. Getting the correct weight at the first seven days. Your broiler chicken weighs at day one about 42 grams. So at day seven, it should be about 172 to 200 grams or 180 grams, which means you are doing very well. You weigh your bed randomly, about 10% of your uh, floss, you weigh them randomly at about seven, at day seven. You also weigh them as the bed progresses. We have an expected weight of brother chicken at every age or stages of their lives. So you make sure you follow these things up and make sure your bed is doing very well. In case there is a slight um, difference in their weight, you try to separate them. So give them the best feed. Then lights, L for light. Make sure they have lights day and night to feed. During brooding, make sure the, the light is enough for them. If you are using light to heat, make sure the light is enough for them check the temperature make sure the brooding stage is well taken care of once you brood your bed very well all other things we do well most of the time once you brood your bed very well all other things we do well so make sure the light is there for them to feed money day and night for the first three weeks of why in the feed you can also add um, calcium at fourth week add calcium because they normally have overweight after the fifth to sixth week so you add calcium and then the bone is still forming, calcification of the bone is still taking place. So you add calcium at that third week to fourth week. After adding calcium, you can put it in the liquid one in the water. Make sure there is enough air. The temperature in the air is all right. You see this place. I control the temperature. When it means air, it doesn't mean that it should expose everywhere. I control the temperature at this stage, even though I'm breathing layers. Hard I've grown further enough to accommodate this cold. So make sure the ventilation, the airflow, the place you are using at every stage, you give them the correct air and temperature they require. As they grow, they require more breeze, more aeration from both sides of the pen. Make sure your pen is having ventilation at both sides of the pen. And make sure if you are using room like toilets for breathing your bed or for running your bed don't reduce the population so, so that the air and the amount of air coming in will be enough for your bed so why this air is also good is uh, you also ensure that the air is enough to you know there are some there are some um, gases that comes out like ammonia air should also be enough to you know take these gases out from the pen for this gas can cause cough respiratory diseases like cough and catarrh and sneezing in your brother's chicken and can also blow and wind can also bring in some other particle in so you have to control your airflow very well that is that then we'll also talk about <coughs> the water make sure you give your brother water all the time day and night there should be water water is very essential if there is no water the birds cannot feed if there's no water the birds cannot feed therefore they will not they won't grow as expected. They won't add weight as expected. So, water should be twice the amount of food you give them. If you use 
2 kg of feed, you should give them 4 kg of water. They need water really well. Brothers need water to do very well. Very, very well. Go in in the afternoon and add more water. You don't withdraw water, you can withdraw feed. You don't withdraw water. Water should be consistent. And during hot weather, you should put ice cube in the water. Give your beds everything to make them happy. You will recover your money if that bed succeeds. This is what makes them succeed. Taking care of a bed makes them succeed and do very well and add weight as early as possible. And you are going to set it profitably. I bet you I'll be doing this for a very long time. No compromise. Okay? Now, after the water, talking about uh, bowel uh, sanitation. Look at this place, it's very dried. Neat. Don't you like my pain? Now, looking neat, look at the feeder, the way arranged. Look at the beds that are feeding, some are resting. Some are hopping, flying, some are, some are crashing, some are sleeping. The ground is very dry and neat. If you look at, at the entrance, we have food baths. So you make sure it's at, it's at the sanitation is top notch. I don't joke with sanitation when it comes to poultry farming. I don't joke with sanitation. Bar security, I don't joke with bar security. I ensure. I ensure the pen is clean as, as much as possible so that the bed will have the best time of their life. So you don't have to retrieve the bed. You can see this Here bed is... Dosbeting. Dosbeting shows that uh, the litter quality is good. environment for them to excel very well I it baffles me when I go to some farms and I see I see chickens the pen having little or no sawdust as you can see this sawdust is quite deep it's not even deep the way I want it. it's not that deep I will get more and put in it when I ask some of these people why do you put bags on the floor of your pen instead of liters they don't use liters and they complain that birds fall sick all the time. How can't you use litters for your pen? We don't use litters, the sheets, the poo, which might have been infested, we transmit to other uh, chickens easily. Litters helps, or sawdust or wood shavings helps to absorb these poisonous gases or uh, infectious uh, particles. So it is necessary you put yeah. liters, enough liter, liter for them to crash, soft baits, pick some little incense and uh, you know, and little creatures in the... How can you put a bag on the floor? Look at what this bird is doing. It's having a nice time. This is what... Make, if my bird does not do this, I'm not, I'm not be happy. You should be able to soft bait. And as the bird grows, you should increase the sawdust. If the bread grows, increase the amount of the depth of the sawdust. I've said it, your index finger at its growth. From day one, it should be half of your index finger or quarter of your index finger. Then when it crosses day one, it should be more than your full length of your index finger for big beds so that they can submit as well and keep their... They are, do not buy much drug except when necessary. I ensure these stages, pen quality, sanitation, cleanliness in your pen. I emphasize all this all the time. Why should my bed, people ask, why am my bed dying? Why am I bed? Most of the farmers do not do these simple things, these basic things. Once you keep the pen, the environment of your bed healthy, the bed will do well, very well, without any problem. So, when it comes to bar security, same thing outside. You don't allow this store to enter your farm all the time. They come in with different gems and particles that can affect your beds. They might not affect human beings, but those particles, those gems will affect the chickens. So you ensure you limit the number of visitors that enter your farm. If you have dogs being around, waste being around, make sure you clear them. Stagnant water, make sure you clean the environment of your pen, of your pen house, of your chicken house. The external environment, make sure you clean them very well because sometimes when when this breeze blows, it blows some particles into your pen. We might contain some spores, some bacterial spores that can cause some diseases in your in your in your chickens. 
So you make sure the environment is clean as well. The environment of your penthouse, the external environment is clean and healthy enough. So if the environment is not clean, make sure you have cutting, tarpaulin, just like I'm having here outside the pen so that it can prevent this dust from entering from, from entering your pen. So there's no much when you come to a poultry farm, it's just that most of all I don't know whether it's we are not there for our chickens. You are handling hardly you are taking chickens as a side hustle. And sometimes we don't give much more attention to the chickens. And so we leave this we leave the pen to accumulate and poop and sheets and become so cake and you want to put them in your farm why don't you pack your perm all the time and it's sawdust it's i cannot put it in my garden i want to, no no are you going to choose your garden or the life of your beds are you going to choose your garden your plants the farming or your beds the heads of your beds so you can see put the sawdust even though it's not well accumulated with sheets it's chicken sheets they we always most farm, most farmers have always visited they will allow the sheet to accumulate in their farm, which is very bad. So, even human being will not stay with his poo. It's not even normal. You can't even bear the smell of your sheet in the toilet. Talkers of allowing chicken to stay with their own in a wet environment and you expect them to not be sick. They will be sick, so please, I know it's not gonna be easy, but this is what you have to do to ensure at the end of the day we have a bountiful harvest. A bountiful production and we sell our, our bed profitably. When I take my chicken to the market, I don't have stress selling it because they are so neat and white and healthy that it attracts customers to my to my store. Here yeah, I said chickens. Some come to the farm and buy because my bed looks neat, white and healthy and big. Within two months at maximum, I'm already having 3 kg.5 in most of my chickens. So, there is it. Flocks, you come in the morning, check their feed, check the air, the light, the water, the sanitation, and the security of the pen. This is what you have to do every morning and ensure your beds will do very well. Okay, I think this will come to the end of this video. I'm going to go now. If this is your first time of visiting my channel, Please subscribe, like the video so that it can spread to other people who also needs it. Click the notification bell so that to, to get notification as soon as I release my next video. Always make your beds happy because happy beds make a happy farmer. Thank you for watching. See you on my next video. Remain blessed. Bye bye.